Welcome and thanks for tuning in. My name is Matthias Oppelt and I'm leading the Simulation Center for Process Automation in Siemens Digital Industries. And I will show you how simulation and modeling lead to more sustainability in the life cycle of process plants. But before we get technical, take a look at this picture and get inspired. Aren't forests magnificent? Walks, hikes, recreation, life. Moreover, they are a symbol of sustainability. In fact, the origin of this concept lies in the forest. In the 18th century, there was a timber shortage in Europe. Forests were plundered and cleared on a large scale because wood served the rapidly growing population, both as building material and as source of energy. Under the impression of rapidly dwindling forests in the Ore Mountains of Saxony, Hans Karl Karlowitz, 1713, described in a highly regarded work the following. A forest can only be permanently preserved and thus also enjoyed by future generations if no more wood is cut than can grow back. That sounds obvious. But von Karlowitz planted the idea of sustainable management into people's minds. Today, we encounter this topic in many ways, and it's even more essential nowadays than it was 300 years ago. How can we use existing resources responsibly? This question is also of great concern to industry. From the point of view of our customers in the process industries, economic resources are, for example, energy, feedstock and auxiliary materials, manpower, time and assets. How and where do we at Siemens contribute to resource savings with simulation and modeling? I would like to answer this question along the life cycle of a process plant, theoretically as well as practically. So let's start at the beginning. Conceptual and process design as well as basic front-end engineering and design. After the idea and definition of a product, chemical and process engineers start the design of desirable production processes. By using a virtual model of your production process, this is a starting point to optimize these towards efficiency, safety and flexibility. The Advanced Process Modeling Platform, GPROMS, is designed to use its numerical power to find the optimal solution of process designs even before a single part of the real plant is even built. Very detailed models representing the real physics and chemical behavior are being created to design the process and corresponding equipment. For example, such an also called mechanistic model Created via G-PROMS helped Royal Friesland Campina to increase plant performance while reducing cleaning processes by 10%. Of course, with consistent product quality. Friesland Campina implied a membrane process model based on deep physical and chemical understanding to a wide protein concentrate application to minimize fouling whilst maintaining capacity and product quality requirements. By modeling, Friesland Campina conserves resources because less fouling means energy optimal processes and less cleaning means saving labor and time as well as cleaning agents. Let's move on to detail engineering, construction and startup. Once the optimum design has been found, the next step is automation. To test the created automation programs and to further improve engineering quality, a virtual commissioning is executed. For this purpose, 
SIMIT simulates the behavior of the actuators, sensors, for example, drives, motors, or encoders, and such of the process. SIMIT provides an intuitive simulation platform with which testing, optimization, commissioning can be performed completely virtually, no matter whether it is systems, machines, or processes. By using the original automation programs, all relevant automation functions can be tested safely and efficiently before the actual startup. But that's not nearly enough. Make use of the existing models and simulation bases and apply SIMIT as a virtual training environment. This allows to train operator teams before the actual startup of the plant as well as practicing rarely performed startup and shutdown scenarios. Even immersive training environments can be realized in which personnel of the control room and the field are interacting in a virtual but realistically designed sphere. Complex situations such as a pump changeover can be carried out virtually several times as a collaborative training of operators and on-site personnel. But what do we do with the virtual commissioning? The Danish machine builder Deezer, a leading provider of molding equipment and foundry technology, was looking for a way to have their molding machines work smoothly right from the start. With Simit, Deezer was able to test new machines in a virtual environment. By successfully integrating simulations into their workflow, the company can offer virtual commissioning to its customers. The conservation of resources is obvious in this case. Machines are delivered faster and with fewer flaws, which saves an enormous amount of manpower. In addition, the digital machine twin would open up opportunities for remote services. In the event of malfunction at the end customer site, these are technicians could use the digital twin to help remedy the problem without having to be on site, saving even more time and traveling. Now let's move on to operation and improvement as well as plant and process modernization. During operation phase, the GPROM's process twin can also be deployed for operational optimization, simply by being connected to the real plant and being able to tune itself to as best as possible match of the real plant state. Acting as soft sensor, the model can measure values that could not be measured by real sensors. For example, due to intensive heat in the equipment or other extreme physical circumstances. The use of soft sensors can significantly improve visibility of key aspects of process operations and improve minute by minute control of product. Furthermore, monitoring of the process by the comparison with simulation values from the digital twin becomes no longer a utopia. And as the model is not limited to real-time and physical circumstances, it can also be used to calculate and predict future states and to improve operations. For instance, by real-time optimization and advanced process control solutions like model predictive control or even nonlinear model predictive control. Let's take a look at the resource savings and benefits that brings. At Zabik, Equation-oriented process modeling was performed on a steam cracker with GPROMs, a modeling and solution environment that allows more sophisticated simulations in contrast to classical process flow diagram tools. With GPROMs, Sabic combined high-fidelity plant models and real-time plant data to provide operations with high-quality monitoring, soft sensing, real-time optimization 
and what if operations decision support capabilities. These scenarios can be used, for example, to extend the plant's runtime before cleaning is required or to optimally plan maintenance time. You can certainly guess where the essential factors of resource conservation can be found. Optimal use of feedstock with up to 2% higher yield, improved energy efficiency with maximum reduction in the use of operator interventions. Let's peek on polymerization reactors now. They require advanced control because they are difficult, highly interacting multivariable control problems where the controller must cope with a lot of different product rates, different operating points and nonlinear reaction kinetics. With nonlinear predictive control, great changes are treated as set point steps and automatically handled by the controller. Compared to the way of planned operations so far, where automatic control is interrupted for great transitions and operators have to perform these difficult tasks manually, great transitions can now run fully automatically, reproducible and time optimized. In our example, we reduce the great transition time by more than 50%. And further reducing the off-spec production in between two grades. In terms of resources, this means Less time, less energy, less waste. I would like to bring another interesting point of our contributions to resource conservation to your attention with a final example. Ineos Phenol did not use high fidelity plant models for its processes, but rather sophisticated control strategies. The highlight here was that these were included in the standard configuration of our process control system, Semantic PC7. With advanced process control, the standard library also includes higher level control functions. The use of these not only minimizes fluctuations in critical process variables, raw material usage, energy consumption, and the required attention of the plant operator, it also increases throughput and product quality. These functions do not require any additional familiarization with special control systems. They are ready for you straight away as embedded into our semantic PC7 advanced process library and thus they are automatically considered during system updates. An enormous saving in labor input and time. So, if we now look again at the overall picture, you will see that we really do achieve a high level of integration with our portfolio. In addition, the digital twin in this form of the value added cycle is a constant companion for more sustainability in the real plant. The application of model-based technologies is especially attractive if they can be exploited for different use cases across the plant life cycle. Starting from process development via detailed engineering up to virtual commissioning or respectively operator training and finally operations. This way, the investment into modeling is leveraged across the plant life cycle. A cradle to cradle use of digital twins over the entire life cycle maximizes the benefits for process plants. Especially if the simulation models are not created anew for each step, but are coupled and transferred into each other. As I have already demonstrated at individual points, this approach not only works in theory. In addition, I would like to illustrate that we have achieved a unique consistency within our product portfolio with the approach of digital twins in different aspects. 
This means that you can benefit from the sustainable use of models and simulation, from the planning to commerce to our advanced process modeling with GPROMS, the SIMIT simulation platform and the use of our distributed control systems without system discontinuity. A planned, sustainable use of resources, be it feedstock, time, manpower or energy, is economically sensible, today and in future. Hans Karl von Karlowitz recognized this 300 years ago. What would he say if he knew what has emerged from his concept of sustainability today? Even the forest which was so precious to him, is benefiting from the digital twin nowadays. The virtual forest models, real woodland as a virtual ecosystem, as well as a virtual production site, and on this basis, providing new types of information, planning and orientation basis for forestry. The aim of the virtual model is, on the one hand, to make more efficient use of our natural resources. On the other hand, digitalization serves economic efficiency and sustainability. In this way, a solid basis is created for future generations. Because whoever plants and cares for a tree does not do so for him or herself alone, but for great-grandchildren. And that's exactly what drives us at Siemens Digital Industries every day to create sustainable industrial innovations for a world we want to live in today and tomorrow.